effects from endorphin. Hydro. Uh, I remember school. <laughs> I hated school. Drama. Now, if you take chlorine molecule, sulfur, now does anyone know what these four represent? Giant if you Coke. do! Giant Coke! <laughs> you got it right. Coke Zero! You got it right. <laughs> Channel Meadow, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Next up, we will begin with dreams. Now, what are dreams? Fragments of our imagination. Figments of our imagination. <laughs> are they? What else are dreams? Beliefs. Beliefs. Anyone else? Fancy. Desires. Desires. Someone said fantasies. But you know what I would suggest? They are also reality. You know what I'm saying? It's interesting because sometimes dreams, as much as they seem like they are our imagination, our fantasies, start like a tiny little seed here and become, look at this awesome tree. <laughs> you know what I mean? At one point, um, things are just ideas, you know? Which is almost like a, a waking dream, you know, an idea. But I always think ideas are worthless. Ideas are like trash, you yeah. know. Everybody's got a great idea, right? But I think unless you do something about an idea, they'll never become reality. And the thing I said dreams. I never thought I'd be standing here in front of you. I never thought I would ever be the good guy on stage, you know? I never thought that. I did a lot of crazy shit when I was young. I'm sure none of you have been. <laughs> um, but it's interesting as just to be a witness and a person, almost in a way, dream is, a dream is like traveling in time. It's as bizarre and crazy because I never thought that I would be this guy over here and then have this path and end up over here if this is a graph that represents achieving your dreams. I never thought that would be possible. The craziest part about living dreams is the, the absolute most insane part is if you go for it and actually fixated on the wildest uh, dream that you have, there's a great chance that it actually could come true. That's the biggest secret that people who live dreams actually know and the people that don't live dreams don't know. That's what separates a lot of people, of uh, the guy who's standing on stage from the person that's in the audience. But really, when you look at it, who's allowing me to live my dreams? All of you guys at the show. Strange, you know? You guys have all decided that I'm living my dream by showing up, right? Um, but my, uh, you know, I'm here to report if I'm the time traveler, if I've been to another place, like, holy shit, guess what? You can do it. You can actually make your wildest dreams come true. And it sounds a little hokey and corny, but I'll have you know as I stand here on my feet, on my flip-flopped feet, that I, uh, it's possible. It's the weirdest thing. I never thought in a million years when I was a kid, um, you know, indecisive and, and uh, insecure and self-conscious about things and figuring it all out, which I still am, that I would be able to do one of the most important things to get here, which was, you know, basically this equals mostly hard work. That's it. That's really the biggest thing. If there's there's a lot, there's some luck, 
there's some talent, maybe. But from what I've seen, I've met some of the most successful people in the world in many different fields, and most of the really successful people are the people that do the hard work. Sometimes you meet these people that just fall over and they get lucky. I've never been so interested in them. I'm interested in people who really have something to offer, uh, but it's incredible to see that if you work hard enough, you can make dreams a reality. And your beliefs and your desires, your fantasies, your imagination, all of that stuff is attainable. You know, It's pretty wild. So I would always say, if you can, bet on yourself. Ignore the non-believers. There's all these people around, you know, in every town. It doesn't matter.